CBEAT, State Federation, Cycling Federation, HCL, Government of Tamil Nadu, local people. Um, obviously, I will ask you to share the initiatives Tamil Nadu government is doing in everywhere as a sport. You know, sport, when we say sport is, is a wholesome. It's not, it, we cannot say sport is just cycling or sport is just running, right? Obviously, we choose one step to grow and like, like HCL does, they do squash, you know, they started with football, with jigsaw, so cycle is born. But Tamil Nadu government is doing huge, right? And, and I've heard from you. So if you can share with our cycling buddies and media people what new is coming up and how do you see this whole collaboration and cycling getting up from here? Uh, no doubts it, it's a matter of pride for SDAT to be partnering with HCL for this HCL Cyclethon Chennai edition 2.0. Uh, and at the same time, I must place on record, record our sincere gratitude and thanks to Honorable Chief Minister and Honorable Sports Minister, sir. Uh, Abhishek was mentioning how when HCL came up with this idea, you know, we, we were very excited. The first thing that, you know, struck us was HCL, you know, uh, is from Tamil Nadu. Uh, but a cycling event is happening in Noida. Why not Chennai? Because Chennai is, you know, known for its cycling. So that's the first trigger. Uh, and then we know the kind of support HCL is doing to uh, squash and other sports. And then we we felt, you know, Chennai deserves HCL Cyclothon. Uh, see, that's the, you know, motivation and inspiration behind which, you know, uh, we, we ensured that the Cyclothon happened last year. And I remember that evening when Honorable uh, Minister himself chaired a meeting with uh, top police officials from Chennai, you know, from Tambaram, from Chengalpat district, because you need three jurisdictions. You need to collaborate all of them, bring them together. And then uh, Chennai Corporation, then uh, authorities from Chengalpattu. So uh, in flat, you know, 15 minutes, he gave clear directions and said that this, you know, event has to be done in a very successful manner. And you all know how our Honorable Chief Minister himself is a cycling, you know, enthusiast and he cycles very often. So I thank both of them for the kind of support that has been given to us. Uh, in fact, the joke last year when we did the, you know, cyclothon was there were around 1300 cyclists and there were equal number of cops on the road to protect all of them. So that's the kind of arrangements, you know, Tamil Nadu has put in place and we, we take a lot of pride in that. Uh, and at the same time, the reason why uh, uh, brands like HCL, you know, big, uh, big companies like HCL uh, probably add special value is, I mean, a sport like cycling needs, uh, you know, people like HCL to come on board. States can do a lot of work, federations can do a lot of work, associations can do a lot of work, but you have that big brand, you know, the sport is taken to the next level. I mean, I'm sure an event like this, you know, could be done only when you have, uh, you know, people with passion like HCL. So thank you so much for doing that. And thank you so much for bringing uh, a Cyclothon to Chennai. And we have seen the kind of hit it was last year, that beautiful morning, I remember, it was drizzling, 1300 cyclists you know, a completely green zone and the kind of, you know, finish it was, Honorable Minister himself was there. So it was a fantastic event, I'm, I'm sure. And in fact, it gave me a lot of confidence. I told them that day also, you know, Cyclothon is here to stay in Chennai and it will keep growing bigger. So that should be our target. And let me also take a moment to thank the stakeholders, particularly police, the kind of support, uh, you know, police department, both Greater Chennai Police, Tambaram Commissionate and Chengalpattu Police has given us no immense just one phone call they'll say sir you know we'll do whatever is required the corporation gcc corporation jungle uh, uh, municipal administration and uh, health department so everyone and most importantly volunteers uh, the the true heroes of this event last year were, were the volunteers around 400 volunteers helping everyone around so we thank all of them uh, i must say that you know uh, it won't be an exaggeration if i say that Tamil Nadu sports has been, you know, witnessing its golden era for the past two and a half, three years. Uh, what we have been able to do for every sport is, you know, uh, is well known. And uh, we are leaving no stone unturned to bring that improvement to every sport. And I will we'll take example of cycling, you know, because, you know, if I keep speaking, it will take one hour, you know, as to what we are doing for sports. But I will restrict myself only to cycling. Uh, cycling remains one of our biggest priority areas as far as sport is concerned, you know, not just cyclothons and all. As a sport, as a sport that we make our younger generation come and take up as a sport dis sporting discipline on a competitive level. Uh, 
you all know many you know friends from media would know that honorable chief minister launched tamil nadu champions foundation one of the very few initiatives or probably the only initiative by a state uh, government anywhere in the country where we launched a foundation to accept csr uh, donations and use it for the benefit of the sports persons in fact the first rupees 5 lakh to the you know uh, uh, foundation came from honorable chief minister and honorable minister keeps reviewing it the impact that tnc have generated is humongous uh, we we so far benefited around 450 different sports persons you know for their equipment for their uh, uh, travel everything of which you know almost more than you know you know one fourth or one third is para sports persons matter of pride is the first beneficiary of tamil nadu champions foundation is a cyclist <laughs> we heard a new story in a newspaper that a young girl uh, to uh, a class 12 girl from uh, coimbatore named tabita you know is into cycling i i mean due to her conditions that she could not afford a competitive cycle you know which would cost around 15 lakh or you know 14 lakh odd so when we launched parallelly we launched tamil nadu champions foundation that's when honorable minister said she will be the first beneficiary and so when we gave the first cycle you know worth 15 lakh many people were shocked i mean i was told in political you know circles that does a cycle cost 15 lakh I mean, we have heard a car, you know, costing, you know, you know, fifteen lakh, or a bike costing, you know, fifteen lakh. Does a cycle cost fifteen lakhs? Yes, we said yes. You know, that's how competitive cycle is. And after that, you know, there were at least seven to eight uh, cycling, uh, you know, champions, young champions who were given cycle uh, cycles. And today also, in the evening, four p.m., honourable minister is giving another uh, cyclist a cycle worth around twelve, thirteen lakhs, you know, for their competitions. And what did we achieve out of this? you won't believe you go through the profiles of all these beneficiaries from tamil nadu champions foundation all these young girls and boys ensured that for the first time in the history of kelo india youth games tamil nadu is the overall champion in cycling in both boys and girls category <laughs> and uh, you take the profiles of these young boys and girls you find them not from chennai you find them from remote parts of coimbatore remote parts of uh, teni here there you know coming you know studying in government schools but has this passion for cycling and are able to win medals so that's the kind of impact we could generate in the last uh, you know one one and a half year and i should thank the association here cycling association of tamil nadu for their uh, tremendous efforts also for the first time kelo india games when we did uh, this january uh, the first uh, we do have a fantastic velodrome at tn pesu but which was in a state of neglect for quite some time normally when we do kelo games uh, what happens is the track cycling always goes to delhi because many states doesn't have the capacity to uh, do a velodrome or have a velodrome we took it up as a challenge we ensured no let tamil nadu be the first state which conducts all kelo india youth games in tamil nadu itself we gave we put uh, you know velodrome back in life in you know in flat 2 to 3 months ensured that it is state of that and we conducted cycling track cycling at tn pesu velodrome uh, in chennai but i mean i i have to uh, you know the the icing on the cake as far as cycling is concerned is when we saw the results these young boys and girls you know performing very well and winning medals left right and center everywhere but what really struck me was most of them go to trivandrum or delhi for their training because that's where sai you know centers of excellence were there the question that struck me was when we have a velodrome and when we have you know cycling flourishing so well why don't we center center uh, open a center of excellence you know i had consultation with our association then i took permission from honorable ministry was very excited he said let's do this and in no time you can go to uh, wandalur you know uh, physical education sports university campus and you can see some 28 30 odd young boys and girls starting their daily routine you know and they have been for the first time ever in the history of sdat or probably any state government you have 30 uh, you know students just for cycling you know as their sports discipline normally we take for football we take for volleyball but we were the first state probably if i'm not wrong to start a hostel center of excellence where they go and study in a nearby school and practice their uh, you know uh, discipline which is cycling you know day in and day out we have already provided them cycles and i'm sure we'll 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 generate we'll keep generating more and more champions and most importantly that's when the inspiration also came that when we are doing so well in cycling let's take it to the next level and we know the kind of medals that bmx offers at olympics you know if i'm not wrong around 12 medals so federation spoke to us association spoke to us that's when we took it as a challenge we found a land near velodrome in uh, uh, you know wandalur and this budget announcement if you see one of the first announcements by honorable minister sir on the floor of the assembly was that tamil nadu is setting up india's probably state sponsored first bmx track so 
land has been finalized. In fact, uh, we have the you know images. Consultants will be there very soon. Probably by the time we launch this uh, HCL Cyclothon next year, we'll have uh, India's first state-sponsored BMX uh, track up and running, which will give you know wings to more uh, champions on the way. So that's the kind of you know work we have been doing. The idea is you know the, uh, our idea is to ensure that you know any guy you know any girl you know any girl with the potential should you know be given you know wings to ensure that you know they they do well in the sport i have only one request for uh, hcl cyclothon and association and federation is also here uh, we'll also uh, our biggest challenge will be to ensure that we uh, you know take cycling to hinterland you know we don't you know you know uh, it should not be just an urban sport you know urban you know rich you know like you know sport there are Fantastic, you know, boys and girls, and you know, I can vouch for that because I've been seeing them, you know, day in and day out. Fantastic boys and girls trying to do wonders, you know, in in rural parts. So that's why probably even for cyclothon, you know, yes, we do get good crowd, you know, from Chennai, but we need to bring crowd from other parts of the state also. And I'm sure we'll get a fantastic, you know, uh, uh, people, you know, who would want to do cycling. So that's where I request HCL along with the team and, and association federation to take the message to every nook and corner and bring more uh, cyclists to Chennai. And uh, so with that. Uh, you know, let me again uh, thank HCL for uh, bringing this. I'm sure this is this will be an annual affair, and like many other marathons and cyclothons, you know, people will have great things to speak about HCL uh, cyclothon. And uh, honestly, let us take pride in the fact that very few cities can offer the breathtaking view and breathtaking track road track that we have, you know, in Chennai. I don't think any other city has got that. Let's take pride in that and let's make this a big uh, success. Thank you, one and all.